Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the meeting rooms problem. Given an array of meeting time intervals consisting of start and end times, determine if a person could attend all meetings. So here they give you two examples. Example number one, you can see the input is a list of intervals. So every interval has a start time and an end time. So the method returns false because a person is not able to attend all the meetings here. As you can see, these meetings overlap. This starts at time 0 and ends at time 30. And this one starts at time 5 and ends at time 10. So because they overlap, they're happening at the same time. A person is not able to be in both meetings at the same time. So the method returns false. Example number 2 the method returns true because you can see that the person can attend both meetings because this meeting ends at time 8 and the next one starts at time 9 the person can be in both meetings after this one ends he can go to this one so the method returns true so how can we solve this problem we can solve the problem by using a sort we can sort the data by start time and then we can check every interval um, to see if it overlaps. If they overlap, then you know that the person is not able to attend all the meetings. So that's the main idea. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to say collections that sort the intervals and I want to sort the intervals by the start time. So I will use a lambda expression here. A comma B arrow A dot start minus B dot start. So here I'm sorting all the intervals by start time. In this example, it is already sorted by start time. So you can see 0, then 5, and 15. So it is sorting ascending order by the start time. So after that, I will iterate through the intervals, starting at the second interval starting here and then I will compare this interval with this interval the first iteration so for integer i gets the value of 1 i is less than intervals the size plus plus i so as I said I will compare th this interval with the previous one every iteration so I will say if intervals that get i minus 1 that end is greater than intervals that get i that start I know that they overlap so a person is not able to attend all the meetings and I immediately return false if I was able to successfully break out of the for loop without returning false that means that all the checks passed. That means that the person is able to attend all the meetings because no meeting overlaps. They do, they do not overlap. So I can return true. So I'm going to run the code. It seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit a solution. All right. So as you can see, the time complexity is big O of n log n because of the sword. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.